Hey, how's it going? It is your muscle building coach, Lee Hayward, back again with another Ask Lee video Q&A. Today's question was sent in by Cody, and Cody says, uh, Hey Lee, I've been following you for a long time, and my question is, how do you stay mentally strong and determined? What kind of techniques do you use when your buddies want to have a beer or want to go out and eat pizza? Uh, this is something that you're going to have to deal with in all situations because virtually all social gatherings revolve around food and drink to some degree. Now, uh, you can kind of set your own boundaries depending on you know what it is you want to do. Like I'll use myself as an, as an example. I, I don't drink personally. I mean, it's, it's I used to when I was younger and was kind of in a situation similar to what you're in, you know, you're going out and, you're, and your buddy's saying, hey, you know, have a drink or something like that. So I would do, I would have a, a social drink when I went out with friends. But that wasn't my thing and I mean, I haven't done it in years now. I mean, I, it's been several years since I've drank and I just don't want it, don't really enjoy it and it's just not for me. So when I go out to a social gathering, I just, that's that's it. I just don't drink. I mean, I, I'll, I'll sit down, I'll have a have a coffee, I'll, I'll have a water or a green tea or something like that. I mean, I'll sit around and, and enjoy the conversation and the company and all that, but I'm not going to drink alcohol. And those who, who know me and, and, you know, friends and family and stuff, they just, hey, you got to learn to accept it. That's me. I don't drink. That's it. So the, the peer pressure from people who are close to me is, is very low now because they just accept, hey, Lee doesn't drink. That's fine. And if you kind of set that as your boundary, if, if you don't want to drink, that is, then you can use that and set it as your boundary. And eventually your, your buddies will, you know, learn to live with it, right? They'll get tired of bugging you and just, you know, accept you for who you are. And if they don't, then, hey, maybe you want to find some new buddies. Uh, but when, comes, when it comes to a time when you know you're going to go out for a get-together, you know, you're going to go out to a pizza, or you're going to go out to a family barbecue, or, or something like that, you can prepare for it in advance and this is what I recommend and I'll kind of give you an example let's say um, Saturday night you know you're, you're going to go out you're going to go out with your buds and you're going to have a few beer and you're going to have some pizza or whatever it is then you can prepare for it in the days leading up to it so all week long use that as your motivation to be extra strict with your diet, extra strict with your training, consistent with your cardio, all that kind of stuff so that you kind of earn your right to have that pizza and beer on the weekend. And this actually works really well. You can make this, this strategy work. Uh, you can be very strict. So purposely, if, especially if your goal is fat loss, you know, purposely be in a calorie deficit all week long. And, and you know, kind of prime your body so that when you do have your cheat meal, uh, the calories that you're consuming will go more towards replenishing muscle glycogen rather than getting stored as excess body fat. I mean, most people who follow a fat loss program uh, incorporate some form of calorie or carbohydrate cycling in their plan, at least most advanced, uh, you know, trainers do. So you can incorporate cheat meals into your carbohydrate calorie cycle plan. I mean, use this as your refeed and it works really well. So if you know you have something coming up, plan for it in advance and for several days leading up, purposely eat less food, uh, purposely try and bump up the cardio, be more consistent with your training, all that, so that you create a calorie deficit in advance and then when you do have your cheat meal, again, those calories are gonna be used primarily for replenishing muscle glycogen rather than getting stored as unwanted body fat. Now, for those situations where you have an unplanned cheat meal, <laughs> all right, so you weren't planning, you know, something happened, whatever, and all of a sudden, you know, you end up giving in to temptation and you binge on pizza and drink too much or whatever. Then you can use the opposite strategy. And what this is, is you're going to try and undo the damage that's been done. Once the, the, you've, you've had the damage, you've pigged out and enjoyed yourself, then for the next several days afterwards, you can use that as your extra strict with your diet, cardio, and training to try and undo the damage that's done. And what you need to look at is the overall, you know, scenario, the, the bigger picture of your diet and training. I mean, one cheat meal a week is not going to derail you and it's not going to set you back. 
So if, if you keep this under control and you know 90% of the time you're following a strict diet and, and training re regimen and all that kind of stuff, you can still enjoy the occasional cheat meal and move yourself in the right direction. You don't have to be perfect 100% of the time. You just have to be uh, doing the right things the majority of the time. So if you keep it under control, you can still be social, still enjoy yourself, hang out with your buddies, enjoy some good food, and move yourself in the right direction towards your fitness goals. It just comes down to the overall balance. Again, one single meal or one single cheat, binge, whatever you want to call it, is not going to derail your entire week of progress. So hopefully this helps to answer your question, and if you have any comments, feedback, or anything like that, feel free to post those down in the comment section below, and stay tuned for my next video coming soon. Take care. Over and out. And just one more thing before you go. I have a special gift for you. It's a free 51-page report called The Three Keys to Building Muscle. This report is an easy read, and it covers the fundamentals to getting in shape training, nutrition, and mindset. The training section will show you how to combine strength training workouts and cardio conditioning together for building lean muscle while burning body fat at the same time. The nutrition section will show you how to figure out the exact number of calories that you need for your body type and the proper ratio of protein, carbohydrates, and fat. It even outlines a sample daily meal plan that you can follow along with. And finally, the section on mindset will help set you up for success by taking a practical and realistic approach to goal setting and following through with your fitness program. To download your copy, just click on the link in the video description below or visit my website at leehayward.com.